Hi guys, today we're going to be making the City of Tears fountain from the game Hollow Knight. I started with the base of the fountain. For the foundation of the statue I used a corkboard base as it's inexpensive and an even thickness. The edges were cut at an angle with an exacto knife to create the beveled edge. Polymer clay was then rolled into a thin sheet and placed over the top. To create the raised walls of the fountain base, I'm layering thin strips of clay along the edge of the base. The foil used here gives the clay a rocky stone-like texture. I added cracks for detail in the base so that it has an aged appearance. Next I made some bricks and textured using a toothbrush and foil. The base is now baked to harden the polymer clay and avoid changing shape. To make the plaque for the front, I made a stencil so that it's easier to get the right shape and size. To make the bug shells near the base of the fountain, I wrap a ball of foil in polymer clay. The foil keeps the sculpture lighter and saves using so much clay. After making one leaf, I used a mould to replicate the other leaves. The leaves were glued together before adding to the base. Parts of the sculpture are different colours as I use whatever clay I have on hand at the time. This won't affect the final result as I'll be painting it in the end. To create the scalloped tear, I sculpted a single section, then made a mould and cast with polyurethane resin to speed up the process. The white sections here were then glued together and added to the fountain. To sculpt the Hollow Knight statue, I start by creating lines where the folds in the cloak would be. I then continue to shape the sections to appear more cloth-like. I apologise for this unfortunate shape. To create the head, I started with a noodle rolled to a point at both ends. After sculpting the basic shape of the head and adding cracks, I baked this piece to harden it.
To make the dreamers, a mask was sculpted for each of them. After sculpting a mask for each of the dreamers, their bodies were made by sculpting a cloak base, moulding it and casting a cloak for each of the dreamers. The statue was painted with a black base coat. An airbrush is used from a high angle with light grey to create contrast between light and shade on the sculpture. A lighter grey is applied to the high areas of the statue to give the appearance of natural light coming from above. A highlighting colour is dry brushed onto the areas reflecting the most light to bring out the detail in the sculpture. A dark blue wash is brushed over the figure to create a slight blue hue and to deepen the shadows. The knight and hornet figures will be anchored to the edge of the scalloped tear with the white mark at a later stage. Here I'm stippling two different hues of blue-grey to create a more natural stone looking texture. Once the gloss gel is dry it will become clear. Clear glue is applied to the tip of the acetate strip to hold it in place before the resin is added. To get the resin into the area that I wanted, I used a bent piece of acetate. And there we have it, our City of Tears fountain. <laughs>